Oh, hey. Uh, my name's Mike Chapanik, and I'm, this is my third now um, five for five video blog. And uh, today, I'm going to show you something really, really fun that I love to use, and we use it a lot today in class. So it is the immediate feedback assessment tool or the if at question tool. And so what's really cool about this thing is it's a scratch off test. So who doesn't love a scratch off? You know where you're, you, you win money or whatever and um, you're scratching off, scratching off. So what this does is it, there is, this is a 10 question one, there's different versions. Um, but you'll see the gray here boxes or for four choices, A, B, C, and D. And then for the questions, one, two, three, four, et cetera, all the way down. And there's a spot to record your score. Um, but what's really cool is on the back, they put this, you can't look through it. I don't know if the light's there or not. My swivel app is like going crazy here but you can't really see through it on those spots because those nice black areas there. Very, very cool. So, prevents a little cheating. Um, so, so got a test, and I linked it up with um, this particular version. If you see on the bottom, there's these different forms. So this one is the D027. They have like something like I don't know how many, but I have I have 16 different versions of this. So I could make 16 different versions of the same test. It has a different sequence of which, um, you know, which of the, where the A or where the correct answer is, et cetera, like that. And it mixes up all the different choices. So let's just try it out here. So, um, so let's say I didn't, I thought the first one was A, and it wasn't A. Um, so there's no star under there. Okay, so I'm going to try another choice. Let's go with B. Ooh, I got it. You can see that little B right there. See it? So it moves around too, not like really moves around, but it might not be in that spot. It might be a little bit more over here, but in different choices. So since I chose A first. That was my first choice. If they got that, if they picked B first, um, then they get a full point. But since I scratched off A and B was my second choice, I get half a point. At least that's how I do it. Give them partial credit on a multiple choice test. What? Isn't that cool? Um, so, but let's say they had picked C first and then A and then B. Well, so they scratch off three. Now I give them a half of a half or a quarter. They scratch off all four. Well, you scratch off all four, so you don't get any points. But that's just how I do it. I mean, it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a cool way of uh, doing that, you know? So the best part about this is, is they always finish with the correct answer. They know what the answer is before they go on to the next one. And they know how they're doing, question to question, each one. How am I doing? Because they can keep a score for that question and a running score over here or however you want to set it up. Just really, really kind of a cool thing. Um, so not only is it an immediate feedback assessment technique, but it's also if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Keep trying it, keep trying it. So um, just look up if at assessment tool, and you'll find this online. They, they sell them, um, but it, it's really, really cool. So, and uh, so I do these little mastery quizzes left and right in my class where they move on to the next one, little quests. So this, we are here in the middle of quest one, quest two, quest three. Some, some kids have finished all their quests for the year. Uh, some other ones have just worked on that first quest for this particular unit you know it's so it's like that so i hope you liked it and look
forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks.